Hi everybody, thank you very much for watching my channel and today we will cook uh, lasagna at home everybody knows that lasagna are made from beef but you can use any kind of meat, you can use even chicken you can use lamb, pork it depends everything on, on your taste and what you have at home today I have at home only pork so today will be pork lasagna I know some people doesn't like it but we can do it as well, even you can do vegetable lasagna so instead of meat you will put some vegetable carrot, courgette, aubergine, uh, broccoli, onion, garlic, you know fresh herbs and everything you know you can put it inside and just cook it the same way as the normal bolognese and then you will just level up with the bechamel and uh, lasagna sheet so we have the lasagna heat sheet, we have the meat I, put, I, I will put some bacon because of the pork, it's a little bit dry uh, and give nice taste and I have some fresh herbs carrots, onion, garlic some tomatoes and as well some tomato puree but I have already done as well some tomato sauce so I will use those three tomatoes and I will add on some tomato sauce already for the sauce so, like, so we already now sweating the part of the vegetable you know so carrots, uh, carrots, carrots, onion and garlic usually has to go there as well as celery or leek but I don't have any so I will go without this is just home cooking so you can put whatever you want and it's not going outside in the restaurant and later I will sweat it as well as separately uh, mushrooms, I will put the mushrooms inside as well so you can do a big batch of the base for the bolognese no, for the for the lasagna and you can use it for the lasagna and the rest you can freeze it actually for freezer and use it as bolognese or doing as well later lasagna for another part so it's everything up it's everything up for you so you can make it your life much more easier you can you can cook it half lasagna half freeze it and you can take it out by portion and do it with your spaghetti or use it for base for chili con carne or for stuff what you like it the carrot onion and garlic is ready and now we will cook mushrooms so they need because we cook the mushrooms and we have to have the oil very 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 hot to cook them quickly because when you, once the once the oil is not that hot you put them inside you will, they will start boiling not roasting but sweating properly so it needs to be very hot smoking hot to put the mushroom inside, cook them quickly, take it off and then we will cook the meat and bacon and then we will mix everything together so now we are cooked already the mushrooms as you can see they are already cooked no, they are delicious so we mix them with the vegetable and now we will put them on the bacon first and then the meat and then we, will, we are almost done with the base and then later during the base we will cook the bechamel sauce because we need to level layer the uh, base for the, the meat base bechamel, meat base, bechamel and then cheese as well so now we put it on the meat and we will just sweat it from the bottom, mix it break it, mix it, break it until it's just soft and mince uh, and then we add on vegetable tomatoes, tomato puree now I actually will put some salsa uh, parsley I will just dice as much as I can and it will give the nice fresh taste to this, you know, to this food to this. so we are, we are now cooking still the meat you can actually if you have bigger amount like this or if you want like this you can you can use the masher for potato to break it and to have nice pieces small pieces so like that like now we have to still continue we have to still continue to cook it and we will see later so we put already the vegetable inside it's almost like it is halfway there now we will put on the tomatoes and the tomato puree and I will put the tomato sauce 
and then we will just cook it. And uh, by the time this will be cooked, we will do the bechamel sauce. We have ready everything to put them on the tray and bake them. So now with everything inside, you know, the tomato sauce, the one tube of the tomato puree that was like 140 grams, the tomatoes and a bit of water. I season with the salt and a little bit of sugar. And we have there as well the fresh parsley. So let's cook it now. Maybe this will take it maybe half an hour to be done, and then we will keep it on the tray. So, so now we are gonna prepare in the bechamel. Everybody knows that bechamel is original butter, milk, flour. Some people put as well some cream and nutmeg. And so I don't have the nutmeg, so I will use just basic because it's at home. So what I have it at home, so it's. Butter, I will put a little bit of olive oil to not burn the butter, uh, flour, salt and milk and that's it. So I approximately cook this whole milk with everything so I'm not sure maybe a few spoons of the flour. I will tell you when I when I when I put it in. So we have here around four spoons of flour, maybe this amount of butter, maybe around 150 grams of the butter and we will put and salt so now we need to just let boil cook get it thicker and then take it off and prepare your cheese for the cheese you can use mozzarella you can use item you can use, you know, the cheese you like. You can use even blue cheese, or you know, like uh, mozzarella. You know, the, the balls. You know, it's everything. It's up to you what you have it at home, and to not make it too much expensive. You know, because you can you can produce as well some cheaper cheese, and it will taste gorgeous as well. So today I will use the cheese uh, which is from here, from uh, Azorich, Azorich Island, and. It's already sliced and I will look great if I will just put a slice on the top and that's it. So the chamel almost done. Just need to let it boil and cook the flour. This is boiling, okay. So we soon will be putting it in the oven. So the base is ready and we are going now to put it in the, on the tray. So we put it like this. Now I will put the cheese and I put another level of the lasagna sheet. You don't have to cook before the lasagna because they will cook them inside. So you don't have to worry about it. So this is the last level and we will put the cheese just on the top and straight in the oven. And the cheese, as I said before, you can use any kind of cheese. And you can do it any, every single level if you want. I just put one inside level layer and then I put on the top the cheese that's enough. So here are they ready, the lasagna. So the lasagna are ready now. So thank you very much for watching my videos and please stay tuned for more videos and have a nice time. Bye.